I am Cornelia from University of Gajah Mada, Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Let's talk about hemoglobin and its unique relationship with oxygen. Let's start with a question. Is it a physiological disadvantage if the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen is reduced in our blood? If you say yes, you might perhaps be thinking that the oxygenation of blood in the lungs will be inadequate if the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen is lower. However, at the normal partial pressure of oxygen or PO2 in arterial blood of about 100 mm mercury, the hemoglobin oxygen saturation is close to 100%. And even if the PO2 is reduced to 60 mm mercury, the hemoglobin oxygen saturation is still 90%. Physiologically, a decrease in hemoglobin oxygen affinity is always beneficial to the cells that need the oxygen for metabolism. From the perspective of the cells, the affinity reduction means more unloading or dissociation of oxygen from hemoglobin will take place. When the cells are more active, for example during exercise, coincidentally or by design, increase in several local tissue factors all have an effect in decreasing the hemoglobin oxygen affinity. The active cells can thus physiologically extract more oxygen from the hemoglobin in the capillary blood. The three major local factors during exercise that promote unloading of oxygen from hemoglobin to the cells are an increase in temperature, increase in tissue carbon dioxide, an increase in hydrogen ion concentration or lower tissue pH. To sum up, a decrease in hemoglobin oxygen affinity means for the cells a better dissociation or unloading of oxygen from hemoglobin to the cells. Thank you.